Let's talk about facing challenges without losing faith, smiling even when it's tough, being generous, maintaining inner peace, motivating others, and building strong bonds, illuminating your own path, and standing out by being yourself. But how do we start changing for the better, together? Stay with us to discover how each step and each choice can take you closer to the best version of yourself. Hit the subscribe button and let's start this adventure. And remember, show that you are strong. Stay until the end. Chapter 1. Firm Steps In a world where the path less traveled presents itself with thorns and uncertainties, walking with firm steps is more than a decision. It's a bold statement of who you are and where you're going. Picture yourself standing at the threshold of your own story, gazing into the vast and unknown horizon. Every step you take is a stroke on your own canvas, a note in the symphony of your life. But what does it really mean to walk with these determined and confident steps? It's not about the absence of failures or denying doubts. Oh, how simple it would be if it were. It's about the resilience with which you rise after each fall, the strength with which you shake off the dust, and the courage to continue the journey even when the path seems cloudy. That's the essence of walking with firm steps. Think of the great success stories we admire. They weren't written in straight lines or on obstacle-free paths. They were forged through challenges filled with chapters of perseverance and blank pages filled with determination. And just like the heroes of those stories, you too possess that intrinsic strength. But how does that translate into your everyday life? It's when, faced with a challenging project, instead of stepping back, you dive even deeper, driven by the passion and vision of what you can achieve. It's when, even in the face of adversity, you choose to remain true to your values, thus shaping reality around you rather than being shaped by it. And the beauty of it all? When you walk with firm steps, you don't walk alone. Your journey becomes a beacon, inspiring those around you to also find their own roads, to also desire to touch the horizon with their fingertips. It's a virtuous cycle of inspiration and motivation where every step taken illuminates the path for others. So, what's your next step? What chapter are you about to write in your story? Remember, walking with firm steps is not just about the destination, but about every moment of the journey, about every challenge faced with courage and every small victory celebrated with gratitude. Now I leave you with a reflection. In what areas of your life can you start walking more firmly? How can you inspire others to do the same, thus creating a chain of positive impact? Walk with purpose, walk with determination, and above all, walk knowing that each step is an essential part of the magnificent journey that is your life. Chapter 2. Smile on your face. In a world that sometimes seems to spin in a spiral of bleak news and endless challenges, a smile on your face emerges as a beacon of hope and humanity. It's not just a curve of the lips, it's a silent bridge that connects hearts, a universal language understood in every latitude without the need for translation. But what is the true power of a smile? And how can it transform the environment around us? Imagine walking into a tense room where words seem to float in a cloud of uncertainty. Now picture yourself flashing a sincere smile. Notice the almost magical change in the air. Invisible barriers begin to dissolve, shoulders relax, and what was tense gives way to a space of openness and welcome. That's the unparalleled power of a smile on your face. A smile is much more than a facial expression. It's a reflection of the soul, a sign that, despite adversities, we choose to remain positive and resilient. It says, I am here and it's all right. This positive attitude, this conscious choice to smile, not only lifts our own spirit, but has the incredible gift of lifting others. And it's not just a matter of perception. 
Scientifically, smiling releases endorphins, neurotransmitters responsible for our feelings of happiness and well-being. So when we smile, we're not only improving someone else's day, we're improving our own. But let's go further. A smile has the unique ability to break down social barriers, to build bridges where there were once chasms. In a smile, we find common ground, a reminder of our shared humanity. It tells us that deep down, we all seek the same things, happiness, acceptance, connection. So why not make smiling your personal signature? Imagine the impact you can have, the trail of light you can leave, simply by choosing to smile. In moments of challenge, a smile can be your armor. In moments of joy, your celebration. Chapter 3, Open Heart. On life's stage, each of us carries a heart, but it's not just a beating heart. It's a vault of secrets, desires, and untold stories. Now imagine a heart not just pulsing for survival, but vibrating with unmatched openness and generosity. That, my friends, is having an open heart. Having an open heart isn't a solitary journey. It's an invitation to a dance where the music is empathy and the steps are danced on the delicate line of giving and receiving. It's about disarming ourselves, setting aside the shields we've built to protect us, which paradoxically isolate us. When we speak of opening our hearts, we speak of a kindness that knows no strangers, only friends we haven't yet met. It's seeing oneself in another's eyes and recognizing that deep down, we all seek the same thing, to be understood, valued, and loved. But how do we do it? How can we truly live with an open heart in a world that often seems to close its doors? The answer, though simple, requires courage. We must be willing to be vulnerable. Sharing our stories, our struggles and triumphs without fear of judgment. It's in this vulnerability that we find our most powerful strength, the ability to truly connect with another human being. Now imagine that instead of building walls, we build bridges. Bridges not made of bricks or stones, but of understanding, support, and unconditional love. It's in this safe space that we create together that magic happens. Where fear turns into courage, loneliness into companionship, and differences are celebrated like the varied colors of one great human mosaic. And don't think that having an open heart is an act of weakness. On the contrary, it requires immense strength. The strength to face your own vulnerabilities and still choose to be kind, choose to be loving, choose to see the best in people, even when they can't see it in themselves. So how do we start? We start with a simple hello, a smile, a gesture of kindness. Small acts that, though they may seem insignificant, have the power to change someone's world. It's the courage to say, I understand, I'm here for you, you're not alone. And perhaps most importantly, it's the courage to say, I need you as much as you need me. Because in the end, an open heart is what truly makes us human. It's what allows us to create a world where everyone can feel valued, understood, and above all, loved. So I ask you, are you ready to live with an open heart? Chapter 4 Quiet Strength Imagine life as a vast ocean, sometimes calm and serene, reflecting the beauty of the blue sky. Other times stirred by storms that challenge even the bravest sailors. At the heart of this ocean, there is a powerful force, unseen to the eyes but deeply felt by those who possess it. That is the quiet strength. Have you ever wondered why some people remain unshaken in the face of challenges that would make others give up? How do they manage to stay calm when everything around them seems to be falling apart? The answer lies in this almost magical ability to find inner peace and resilience even in life's worst storms. Quiet strength is not something acquired overnight. It is a journey of self-discovery, of diving deep into who we are, our values and beliefs. 
It is knowing that no matter how strong the storm, we have a North Star, a fixed point within us that guides us. Like a lighthouse for lost ships, this internal strength guides our actions, our decisions, and keeps us steady. Think about it. When was the last time you faced a challenge thinking you couldn't overcome it? And what happened? You're here now, aren't you? This proves that within you lies immense strength, perhaps not fully explored yet, but definitely present. Quiet strength manifests in various ways, through thoughtful actions, demonstrating not only courage, but also wisdom. Through active listening, showing empathy and understanding without the need for words. And in silent support, which often speaks louder than any words of encouragement. It offers a living example of dignity and stability, especially in times when the world seems to spin at a frantic pace. It is a reminder that, despite adversity, we can maintain serenity and move forward, knowing that we are capable of overcoming any challenge. Now imagine the impact you can have by cultivating and displaying this quiet strength not only in your own life, but in the lives of those around you. You become a pillar of support, an example that it is possible to face storms with serenity and emerge stronger from them. So I ask you, how can you begin to develop your quiet strength today? Perhaps through moments of silent reflection, practicing gratitude, or simply deciding to face daily challenges with a new perspective, one that sees beyond the problem to the solutions and opportunities they bring. Remember, quiet strength is a power we all have within us. It's a matter of choice to access it and let it shine. By doing so, we not only find peace and resilience in our own lives, but also inspire others to discover this strength within themselves. Thus, when the storm comes, and it always does, know that you have everything you need to face it. With quiet strength by your side, there are no waves that cannot be navigated, no storm that cannot be overcome. And in the end, it is precisely this strength that defines us, that makes us who we are. Beings capable of facing any adversity with serenity, wisdom, and above all, tranquility. Take charge of your life with the wisdom of history's greatest philosophers. Stoicism in the 21st century is your guide to resilience, well-being, and prosperity. Turn challenges into triumphs, stress into strength, uncertainty into clarity. Click now on the link in the pinned comment and begin your stoic journey to a life of success and fulfillment. Get your ebook today. Chapter 5. Inspiring Action Picture yourself as one of those individuals who don't go unnoticed, not because they're loud or seek attention overtly, but because they carry with them their own light, a glow that emanates from within. This radiance is none other than the living manifestation of your beliefs and values, translated into everyday actions. Yes, I'm talking about you, who with small acts of kindness, initiative and sharing of knowledge, become an endless source of inspiration. Now take a moment. Have you ever thought about the impact of a simple act of kindness? The power contained in a word of encouragement or the strength in sharing some of your knowledge with someone in need? Each of these actions, no matter how modest they may seem, is capable of creating waves of positive change, encouraging others to do the same. That's what inspiring action is all about. But what does it really mean to be an inspiration through our actions? It means living in such a way that each choice, each gesture, deeply reflects our dearest convictions. It means that, even without words, our actions speak. They tell a story. A story of commitment, respect, and love for others and for the world we live in. Being a source of inspiration is, therefore, a permanent invitation to reflection. Are our actions aligned with our values? Are we being the example we would like to see in the world? The beauty of this questioning lies not only in self-analysis, 
but in the ability to generate transformation, to motivate others to follow a similar path, a path of positivity and change. In this scenario, each of us has a role to play. No matter how big or small that role may be, what really matters is the intention and the ripple effect it triggers. A simple smile, a selfless help, shared knowledge can not only brighten someone's day, but also inspire that person to do the same for others. And thus the chain strengthens, expands. So why not be that inspiration you want to see in the world today? You don't have to wait for a big moment or a great opportunity. Real change begins with small steps, simple yet significant gestures. Remember, each of your actions carries the potential to inspire a story, to move a life, to change the world, even if it's just one person's world. At the end of the day, what defines us are not just our thoughts or words, but the actions we choose to take. Therefore, be a beacon of positivity, a living example of your values. Thus, you will not only find a deeper purpose in your daily actions, but also become the inspiration you aspire to be. Because in the end, inspiring is living in a way that your actions speak louder than your words. And you, are you ready to be that inspiration today? Chapter 6. Genuine Connections in an ever-accelerating world filled with shallow interactions, the pressing question emerges. What does it really mean to forge genuine connections? It seems straightforward, yet delving into the depths of this inquiry takes us to a realm where empathy, mutual understanding and support are the master keys. Imagine walking down a bustling street, surrounded by unfamiliar faces, each lost in their own world. In this sea of anonymity, the chance to build a bridge to reach out to someone with an act of kindness might just be the spark that lights up the glow of true connection. Listening not just to reply, but to understand, showing interest that goes beyond the superficial, expressing gratitude in a way that touches the heart. These are the bricks that build bridges between people. These authentic connections are not just an addition to our existence, they are the foundation. They strengthen our support network in ways that no concrete pillar ever could. They enrich our journey, painting it with the vibrant colors of understanding and mutual care. But here lies the core issue. How do we cultivate these bonds we so deeply desire? The answer, albeit complex, starts with a simple step, being present. In an age dominated by screens and distractions, the act of offering our full attention can be revolutionary. It means putting aside the phone during a conversation, making eye contact, showing that you are truly there, not just in body, but in spirit. And when it comes to expressing gratitude and appreciation, we're talking about acknowledging the value of the people in our lives in tangible ways. A heartfelt thank you, a note of gratitude, or even a simple gesture can make all the difference. They are the small seeds we plant, which over time grow and blossom into gardens of lasting connections. Now it's crucial to remember, the journey to establish genuine connections is not always easy. It requires vulnerability, a willingness to listen, and above all, patience. But the reward? Oh, the reward surpasses any challenge. It's finding a safe haven in another soul, knowing that in the chaos of life, there are people you can count on, people who recognize your worth beyond words. So here's our call to action. How about today, we take a step towards someone? It could be a friend, a family member, or even a stranger. Show interest, listen for real, express your gratitude. Because in the end, it's these genuine connections that weave the true richness of our existence. And you, are you ready to start building those bridges? Chapter 7. Inner Light In a world where darkness sometimes seems to prevail, there's something within each of us that can light not just our own way, but also the paths of those around us. This is what we call Inner Light. 
But what does it really mean to have this light? And how can we not just find it, but also let it shine brightly? Imagine yourself as a lamp. Each person has a unique design, a color, a brightness. The inner light is that energy, that glow coming from within, fueled by passion, purpose and presence. It's not something you can buy or acquire from the outside. It's an internal discovery, a commitment to the essence that makes us who we are. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to naturally attract others to them? Or why certain opportunities seem to effortlessly fall into someone's lap? The answer may lie in the way these people let their inner light shine. They know their worth, follow their passions, and live with purpose. Their presence then becomes a source of inspiration for others, attracting people and opportunities that resonate with their deepest values. Cultivating this light is a journey of self-discovery. It requires pauses, moments of silence and introspection where we ask ourselves, what really moves me? What makes my heart beat faster? It's an invitation to dig deep beyond the layers of others' expectations and discover the unique glow that only you possess. But how exactly do you let this light not just exist, but shine for the world to see? It starts with accepting your own uniqueness, recognizing that there's no one exactly like you. Then, it's nurturing this light with experiences, relationships, and activities that truly resonate with your deepest self. And, perhaps most importantly, it's sharing that light. Not as one seeking approval, but as one who naturally illuminates the spaces they occupy. It's easy to get lost in the routine, the challenges, and the expectations of daily life. But remember, your inner light is a compass guiding you through the darkness. It is the key to not just living, but thriving, creating a path illuminated by what is authentically yours. Now I invite you to reflect. How can you start today to polish that light? What small steps can lead you to a life more aligned with your true self? Remember, the journey to letting your inner light shine is not just about reaching a destination, but about each moment of discovery and brightness along the way. So, be the light you want to see in the world. Not as a beacon that blinds, but as a gentle flame that invites others to find their own glow. For when we shine together, the path becomes clearer for everyone. Chapter 8. Unique Brand In our journey through the vast universe of authenticity lies a treasure not so hidden, but deeply valuable. The Unique Brand. This is the essence of cultivating an identity so distinctive that, by its mere presence, communicates your intrinsic value and the beliefs that guide each of your steps. Think of it as the signature of your existence, not one that you write on paper, but one that you engrave on the fabric of the world around you. The heart of the unique brand beats to the rhythm of congruence, a perfect harmony between your beliefs, your actions, and the way you reveal yourself to the world. It's your particular way of navigating the tides of life that makes you unforgettable, creating echoes of your presence even in your absence, like a melody that sticks in the head, your brand is the song that people hum without realizing, hearkening back to you, your stories, your worldview. But how does this journey towards authenticity and distinction begin? The secret lies in diving into the depths of self-awareness and practicing authenticity. Imagine yourself in front of a mirror, not one that reflects only your surface, but one that allows glimpses into the deepest layers of your being. It's a process of discovery and acceptance, where each revelation is a step towards your purest essence. Developing your unique brand is, therefore, an adventure that calls for courage and honesty. It requires you to ask yourself, what are the values that guide my inner compass? How can I express them not only through the words I choose, but also through the actions I undertake and the way I present myself to the world? 
As these questions begin to find their answers, an interesting phenomenon occurs. Your brand starts to strengthen, becoming a beacon that attracts others who resonate with your authenticity and vision. It's a continuous process, a constant dialogue between interior and exterior, where authenticity becomes not only the key to distinction, but also to deeper and more meaningful connections. Chapter 9 Mighty Silence In a world where noise is constant and words fly like leaves in the wind, have you ever stopped to think about the strength that lies in silence? Yes, I'm talking about that mighty silence, not an absence of sound, but a presence, a deliberate choice full of meaning and intention. You see, when we opt for silence, we aren't simply keeping quiet. We are exercising control, an internal confidence that shouts as loudly as any spoken word. It's a mistake to think that silence is synonymous with weakness or inaction. On the contrary, it's a testament to our inner strength, a demonstration that we understand the value of our words and choose when and how to share them with the world. But what do we gain from this? Imagine for a moment that instead of promptly responding to every provocation, every question, we allow ourselves a moment of silence. It's not just a pause, but a space to listen, to observe. It's in this silence that we find the deepest answers, those that come not from haste, but from reflection. By choosing silence, we also choose to act with purpose. Every word we choose to speak carries weight, a significance that it wouldn't have if it were carelessly thrown into the wind. Silence allows us to observe more, understand more, and consequently, when we choose to speak, our words have more impact, more meaning. Think of great leaders, of people who changed the course of history. Often their power didn't reside in the quantity of words they spoke, but in the ability to know when to speak and when to remain silent. They understood that, at certain moments, silence can speak louder than any speech. So I invite you to reflect on the space that silence occupies in your life. Do you fear it or welcome it as a friend that brings clarity and peace? Remember, silence isn't an emptiness to be hastily filled, but a rich space of possibilities, an invitation to delve deeper into our thoughts, into our souls. And now, as we near the end of this reflection, I make one final call to action. The next time you find yourself amidst chaos, hurry, the incessant torrent of words, allow yourself a moment of silence. Observe what it teaches you, what it reveals about you and the world around you. Perhaps you'll discover that, amidst the silence, lies the key to acting more meaningfully and impactfully. Silence is powerful, my friends, not because we have nothing to say, but because we choose the right moment to speak. And in that choice, in that control, lies immeasurable strength. As we wrap up this incredible journey, remember that your actions, smiles and kindnesses impact the world in unique ways. Feeling inspired? Join our community, subscribe to the channel and explore more adventures. Each video is an opportunity to grow and discover your potential. Stay steadfast, keep smiling and remain open to new possibilities. Join us in illuminating the world, video by video. Don't forget to like and share your experiences in the comments. Until next time.